Hi everyone, just coming on quickly to show you the birthday cards and some gifts that I've sent. Um, excuse me if I sound a bit breathless and a bit sniffly, I'm not doing so grand today. But I don't know what to put this off any longer because I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it again. Um, but I'll just show you some of the cards I got. I got this one here um, from Lynn Morris, who is Lynn Avon's too on YouTube. Um, beautiful, just my colours. And it just says, Happy birthday, Cam. Hope you have a lovely day with your family. All the best for 2015. Hugs, Lynn. Um, and it's Beautifully decorated in the back with like a damask um, pattern. So it's gorgeous. I got this one here from Caroline Worthington. And she did say, God love her. I'll read it out in a minute. That's a card she sent. And inside it says, To Cam, happy, happy birthday. Hope you have a fantastic day. Sorry it's not handmade. I had to go. I had a go, but it was terrible. So got this instead. As soon as I saw this card, I knew it was meant for you. Love and best wishes, Caroline. It's just, it is stunning. And I think actually, I will actually frame this. Um, I have a 8 by paper mache frame. So I think I might frame it with this, put that in it. So thank you, Caroline. Um, I got this one here from Zina, who Zina Bina Crafts um, on YouTube. And it's the vintage effect. But she's got like, doily, she's got stamping, she's got... Um, washi tape. She's got the vintage postcard which has been um, distressed and she has got the sentiment which has also been distressed and a wee um, spotted guinea fowl feather. And inside it says to Karen hope you have a wonderful birthday. With love, your crafty friend, Zina. So, it's absolutely stunning. Thank you, Zina. I have sent all the ladies um, e-cards to say thank you, though. Um, this one here is from Kim Whitley. What's here? I know I keep murdering that name. I need to listen to Betsy to do because she's had it properly. What's here? Um, and it's one of the Magnolia girls. I'm sure that's Magnolia. It might be Pink Gem. Because they're quite similar now. But I'm sure it is Magnolia. Um, she's embossed the card. I've got a wee red and white ribbon up the top. On the back she has got a, a die cut, which is patterned. And inside it says, Karen, wishing you a very happy birthday. Um, and she just says that she also shares, her daughter also shares my birthday with me. Um, but she has another few family birthdays in January. Which, is, <laughs> to be honest with you, is actually very, very busy for us as well. Over December and January, the beginning of the month, we have got quite a lot of family birthdays as well, Kim. Um, but it's beautiful and the colouring is great as well in the sailor dress so thank you Kim um, I then get this one and I'll not need to say who I got this from because I think with the colouring we'll all know who it's from um, but it is, it's from our Theresa Carr who is Precious So and So on YouTube Dear Karen, I hope you're okay. 
have a lovely birthday. Best wishes, lots of love to you. Um, and it's on a wee stringy mount. Just love it. She's getting so good with colouring. It's it's very professional looking. If you can see the, the scar. It's not my gone. <laughs> um, it's so well shaded and it just actually looks, if you look at it that way, you, you, you would actually think it's been pleated. You would think it was dimensional, which it's not, it's flat. So thank you for that, Caesar. The other card I got was from one of my very, very good friends, and it's Mel. No, this is the envelope that's in it, and I haven't pushed the card properly in the back. I'm going to take the card out, and I'll show you the envelope first because it's absolutely stunning. I'm being really careful how I take it out so I don't let like damage the card. This is the envelope that it was in. And look, it's all sparkly, and I absolutely love this die cut. So, Mel, let on where you got them from because I want that one. It kind of looks a bit like a tattered lace, it's very, very, um, what do you call it? Dainty, with the amount of filigree in it, it's very, very delicate looking. Um, she's got some new pedals up here and the cards embossed as well. Um, she's got some wee gems down there. She's got oops, she's got a thrill all the way around. She's scalloped all along here. And then on the back she's wrote to Carrigan wishing you a wonderful birthday. Hope you have a lovely day. Love and hugs, Mel and Barry. P.S. Prezi to follow. But I hope she's made an error because she did actually send me some goodies, which I'll show you in a minute. But this was the actual card, and I'm just fixing out one of the flowers because when it's been in the book, um, they've got a wee bit squashed. Deep. Let's look at that. How cute is that? And I bet you she sent me Bambi because we had a conversation um, last week on Facebook. Amanda, who is scrimping mummy, was mentioning about her diet and how she's trying to cut out a lot of things to make herself feel a bit better. She's been feeling a bit bloated. And I mentioned that I just couldn't give up meat. And at the moment, as a family, we're eating quite a bit of anything. Um, it's something that we always have ate, but more recently we're, we've been eating it regularly rather than just occasionally. Because the flavour of it is just beautiful and there's very, very little fat on it. Um, and Mel, who is vegetarian, called me... Um, a Bambi, a Bambi mummy eater. So I think that's why I've got the deer on it. It's absolutely beautiful and it's decoupage. Um, it's really, really well dimensional. I mean, there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six layers on that. It's just stunning. And again, she's got these wee die cuts with loads and loads of, sorry, that light's a bit glary loads of sparkle on it and again the colours are just my colours and she's got the thrill again around the bottom um, and on the back she's put a wee poem and it says happy birthday today's the day for celebration I'm going to need to read it this way I can't see it can't be. so enjoy it in every way we wish you Health and happiness and a very happy birthday. But it's just, it's beautiful. And as I said, when I'm putting it in, I'm being mega careful. Um, and I'm not pushing it all the way in. Because when I'm 
going to display it. I want as much shown as possible. So I've been leaving it like that. So that I can see as much of it as I can. Um, and then um, I'll show you what trees I think is off because I've got that nearest to me. She sent me this stunning charm which I absolutely love. Um, with loads of things on it and I'll just show you them individually. She sent me a um, made with love love hat. Excuse the colour of my nails again. In fact, I'm going to turn that light out and see if it's any better. Because it's really glowing. So we've got made this love. I have got love charm, which has got script, and then maybe love heart cut out of it. I have then got this, which is gorgeous. It's um, a wee bead, but it's got like, a present charm around it. Lovely. Then I've got a wee ivory heart with a wee diamond bling in it. Um, I have got my name with one of the disco balls, three guys, and then another disco ball to finish it off. I've got a plingy shoe, and then we've got this one. I absolutely love that. That's like the Indian style um, bead. Absolutely stunning. Um, then I've got a big crown. I think I've actually got these ones in stock as well. Um, then another one of these large blingy beads that's gorgeous. And then I've got a fan which looks as though it's got it's either I think it's leave printing on it. I don't really have to see on there I think actually. A stream to see it and it looks like a leaf print and then at the bottom there's this gorgeous and it's like rainbow iridescent colouring and all through it you've got the wee um, bicone faceted beads in all different colours so I absolutely love it thank you so much Teresa then we got this, and I love this as well. Um, it's a wee notepad, and it's just magnetic. It's just it's, it's lovely. So that's getting hoarded. I'm using that. Um, and then obviously to go with that, she sent me a pen. And if I'm honest, I think there was something else. But I can't remember what. And the reason being is Jaden helped me open them on my birthday morning. And I can't remember because he was pottering about with things while I was trying to open them. But I definitely know those three were from Fraser. And I am so thankful. Thank you so much, honey. Then I got some gifts from Mel. 
and I got this little altered box, which you know is a love altered boxes, and I think they're from Fernley Designs. Um, just looking at it, I think that's where she's got it. But it's it's super, um, and it would be ideal. See if I'm going overnight somewhere, I could use that for my medication, um, because it's not too bulky. Um, and to be honest with you, the flowers are well put down, so they're not going to fall off in my bag or anything. Um, so yeah, I think that's what that'll be getting used for. I think that'll be for my medication for my overnights. Um, so thank you so much, Mel. Then got two washi tapes, and they are stunning. This one has got wee birthdays on it. And this one is just pink and orange and blue coloured flowers and they're just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I then got <clears throat> these and I needed these because as you will remember I said I had bumped myself before Christmas and I still have the scarf from it. Um, it took ages to heal. My immune system's absolutely rubbish. So healing takes me ages. So these are absolutely perfect. Um, especially when you're making flowers and stuff and you're going to kind of stick them down properly. So this saves me getting sore fingers anymore. She then sent me this box and this box to Ulta. But being being our male, they're crammed with flowers and all different shapes and designs. She's just, she's one in a million in male. And this one here has some wooden embellishments, um, frames, wee butterflies that I absolutely love and I love the the flourish on them. Max is sitting under my PC table I was wondering what the noise was. Then you've got this one here which is the wee bow. Um, more frames. Just got this up. Got the drops in there. This one here with a wee flurry should be flower. Um, and we've got the heart with the flurry showing it. They're absolutely stunning. And because the, um, the flurry is just really on the surface, it would be a opaque paint I would use on it so you can see it. Because um, I wouldn't want to cover that design up. It's super pretty. Um, so those were from Mel. I then got a big wooden um, door hang hanger. I then got um, these, which are a huge white sticker which I'm going to take off and put in my flower um, box because these ones they end up damaged when I put them in my sticker box Jaden uses that quite a lot and this one is missing one because Jaden stole one of my butterflies he's a wee thief um, but these were from Mel as well and they are absolutely gorgeous. They're glittered and um, embossed. Um, they're just super pretty. And how cute is that wee owl? And again, they're glittered. 
the just done in. And Stephen did steal two of these, managed to pinch them back. Um, and they are just different designs of butterflies which are absolutely gorgeous. Here's the colour of my nails, I'm still trying to get sorted between both rooms. <laughs> um, then I got a parcel from RD, who is Betsy Doodle, and one of the boxes in it. Now, I opened it on my birthday, and it was this I thought she had sent me whole pizza for my breakfast. But it was this. <laughs> she had just parceled stuff in it. And I've just, uh, as you'll see, everything she sent me was wrapped in my colour and with butterflies. She was just so thoughtful. Um, so I have held all that. Um, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, and everything was so well wrapped. Um, she's just, she's amazing. Um, but I'll show you what she's saying. Um, where are you? Hide my under here. Now this was wrapped in bubble wrap, and she had put on it this piece of washi tape which says on it I have lived with Noodle for 15 years and would like to live with you now how cute is that and I've kept all my washi tape from her too because everything was all beautiful peace begins with a smile that's what it says on it and I totally agree. But this is what she had sent me to adopt. And I was a mess when I opened it. Because it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not sure if it was this colour originally. But no indeed, I think she has painted it because I think it was originally white and she's painted it this lilac colour for me might be wrong but it's absolutely gorgeous and I will find a prided place for it in my, my new room which is near enough done um, I just need to pull up my beads from downstairs and try and find a home for them now and then fix my floor because everything's scattered I then got this, which again had me in floods of tears. It's a genuine Betsy Doodle original butterfly, a uh, butterfly fairy button angel. And the reason I was so emotional is. When I was little, um, there wasn't many shops left who sold scraps. Now, the older members will probably remember scraps. The younger ones, 30 under, probably won't remember them. But we always had these and they were like the fairies. Then you had the water babies. And this was my weekly treat. I had thousands of them and it was my gran that used to take me to get them and I did have this one original um, there was loads of them but this was one of my favourites um, I mean obviously I get rid of them all when I was in my teens uh, we moved house when I was 12 and I think I probably binned them then because I was too cool for scraps and you know for the last two or three years I could kick myself 
see when I see the price that they're selling these at. Scary. But it is just stunning. And you actually have it in your hand and see how she's worked the beads because I've tried to do these um, and I can never get the tails properly and I think it's because these use wire and I was just using um, threading. So I am very very grateful Dee. I absolutely love it and I will cherish this for a long long time. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, and then I got this, which blew me away. Oops, I need the curtains up in here because that's going on in the main picture. Probably a wee tiny bit so you can see it there. It's a rosette, but she's got. Paper rosette at the back here, but it's all um, punched. Not sure if it's punched or die cut. Then we've got the smaller paper rosette, which again has been punched. And then we've got the frame on the front, and she's got these beautiful wee flowers. I do actually have these as well. I think I actually sent these to be for. My wee thank you when she done Amanda's challenge. I sent out quite a few wee bundles of these because I had loads of them. Um, but they're just perfect for that project. Then in between, at the very back, she's got this place here. And I'm saying in between because she's actually done the back the same with the reset. And it just says, Dear Karen, happy birthday, all my love, Noodle. She is just the most gracious lady. And I mean, the feathers on them are super soft. Um, she's got seam binding here to hang it up. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, she also sent me. This was lying in my pizza box. A big huge doily. Oops. And then she sent me amazing embellishment. I have got these here and these have been hoarded. I'm not even opening these just now. So I'm sorry for the glare but they're all vintage females in them. And she was saying she uses epoxy stickers over them. And they are just, they're amazing. Um, and look at this one here, which has sentiments on it. And the top one there says, Do what you can for who you can with what you have and where you are. A hug is a great gift, one size fits all. You can't change the past, but you can ruin the present by worrying over the future. Take time to laugh. Everyone needs to be loved. You are richer today if you have laughed, given or forgiven. So they are being hoarded as well. And these are just amazing. And they probably won't be showing up properly because of black and white on black. But they are just amazing. And then we have these. Ones, which are floral ones. Again, I'm just stunning. And then I had another one as well. I can't remember. I think it was this that was on it. But my head is at mince meat just now. Um, these are the pegs that were on it. 
I'm sure it was this actually. It's um, a wee memo holder, a wee post it note. Um, had, which is amazing because I'm forever forgetting everything. Um, so this will be mega handy now. And it was in a bag with these to match on it. Really pegs. But I'm not throwing them out. They're getting hoarded as well. I then got some beautiful doilies. And then we got these gorgeous butterflies of different types. And then I got this. And I'll just open it up and then I'll show you because it's a bit. This was the box it was in with double layered um, butterfly. We've got a blue ribbon all around it, both sides. Then inside, he's lined the box. And I mean, lined the box. Even the bottom of the box is lined. And then I have this. Card. And this would be my doilies and my butterflies there. How precious is that? And then it's got the wee drawer underneath. And she's put the wee knob on the front. And then all round the side, she's put the butterflies on the other side. And on the back she wrote, Happy Birthday Cam with Love and D, Betsy Doodle. And if you, I don't know if it will show up on this, but the actual, no it's not going to show up. The actual ink she's used to write the message is glittered ink. It's just beautiful. So that was from her B. Um, I'm just blown away, to be honest with these ladies. Um, I am very, very blessed to have these all in my life. So thank you so much for making my birthday that wee bit more special. Anyway, I've been on here for half an hour, so I will let you go and I will speak to you all soon. Take care for now. Bye.